Lisa here. So today I'm going to talk about um, how I changed when I became a trilingual. Uh, because uh, since last video, me and Roger talked about how, how I became a trilingual, how I learned um, foreign languages. Uh, so, and then I felt uh, it also changed me a lot. So I thought of this topic. And actually there's many things uh, I feel I, I got changed. But uh, it's gonna be a long talk, so I'll just uh, narrow it down to uh, a few, three, four points. So um, I think um, the most, I, I thought it the most important thing to me is um, I could understand uh, other people better, especially non-native uh, speakers, and um, uh, I get less conscious about uh, like pronunciations and grammar and stuff. Um, so before that, when I was when I was uh, a child, uh, when I was uh, little, um, when I didn't speak any other languages, um, and uh, since I was born in Beijing, China, and Beijing is the capital uh, in China, and uh, people from Beijing has kind of some uh, <laughs> pride <laughs> um, for 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 uh, us of their uh, Beijingness, you know, um, and uh, I was too, and um, um, like uh, I was kind of sensitive about uh, the dialect and people's pronunciations and stuff. Um, well, there's not many um, people from all of Beijing at that time, but when there is someone. I'll just um, notice them from the their dialect directly. Oh, he's not from here. She's not from here, <laughs> and they're they're not Beijingese, something like that. And um, and uh, yeah, um, but at that time I didn't think it's uh, it's just ha happened naturally. Um, yeah. So, but. When I came to Japan, suddenly I became the foreigner, and uh, I couldn't speak um, Japanese as a native speaker. And uh, uh, yeah, it took a long time to speak uh, Japanese fluently uh, to me. Mm. And also, like uh, at at the beginning, I was also so conscious about my. Uh, pronunciation and dialect and the grammar and stuff but um, after a long time uh, I realized um, well those things are still important are still important but um, that not the point because you wanna uh, the point is you, you want to communicate with people, make friends with people, or work here, um, make your business working. Um, that the that your purpose. It's so um, like the pronunciation and grammar and stuff. Um, the language itself is just a tool. It's not the purpose. Uh, you, you uh, the real purpose. Uh, you wanna do, so I can I kind of uh, change my focus uh, not only on the pronunciation and grammar and stuff. Um, kind of change my purpose on other more important things. Yeah, so uh, I'll I'll mention about that later. Um, yeah, that's a, a big change to myself to my mindset. So uh, um, uh, I wish uh, this kind of opinion will help you uh, when you learn 
other other languages, and when you're so um, afraid about um, your own like pronunciations, if, if you have dialect or not, um, yeah, those those things. It's good to improve that uh, better and better, but that's not the main purpose you really want to do. So to find out uh, your main purpose what you want to do with this language yeah so that's the really important thing for a learning language and even other things yeah. okay so move on to the next point is um, i also learned how to make friends uh, it doesn't mean i couldn't make friends before it's just you just make friends naturally when you grown up uh, at some place. Yeah, you just mm, never think about how to make friends. So uh, you just make friends with those bunch of kids <laughs> um, uh, grown up together. Um, but when I moved to Japan, so I, I had to um, start it from zero. Uh, everything I had no friend zero friend in here so I had to start it from the very very beginning um, and um, yeah I didn't speak the language I didn't know the culture I uh, you know and I already was like 17 years old it's kind of mm, kind of adult right young adult I guess um, so I found it really hard to make friends. Um, it's not ju only because uh, Jap Japanese people uh, this or that. It's also uh, because of myself. Um, so I think speak the language is a really a big thing. But uh, even before that, there's something you, you can do, uh, I think. I think it's also uh, open up yourself, uh, that kind of thing, and uh, um, the magic, uh, the magic thing uh, to make friends is find the common uh, things you like with other people, like the culture, uh, especially pop culture. Um, for example, if you like some, uh, uh, like some drama or music or like comic book uh, manga or something especially in Japan that's uh, really popular like uh, everybody uh, watch manga a animation those kind of stuff so you can find some uh, common things you can talk about or even you don't know the language you can write it down draw a picture or anything and uh, communicate with pe people so communication is not only about the language, it's um, also about the culture. So if you know some uh, uh, culture that other people, that the people from that country also uh, like, um, then I think you can uh, make friends with them just quickly. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And also, I think it's also about the characters uh, of yourself. I think uh, I was kind of uh, shy at that time, and um, I couldn't really open up myself at some point. Um, yeah, it's also the barrier uh, uh, for myself to make new friends but I think I did a, a good job and uh, uh, yeah later on I made a lot of friends here um, and uh, I feel like uh, mm, people are well um, in the essential point people are the same so um, yeah if you know that um, I think there's there won't be uh, anything to stop you to make friends from other countries. Um, yeah.
Yeah, and the next point is um, yeah, when you speak multiple multiple languages, uh, you can uh, get uh, other uh, perspectives. Um, yeah, multiple perspectives. Um, one thing is because uh, you can access the more information um, because you can access the information from other languages. So for example, uh, like the recent um, news uh, like about uh, the uh, atomic wastewater uh, in Japan, things like that. So I can read the news uh, or watch the news um, not only in Japanese but also in Chinese and English so kinda I kinda can get uh, a lot of opinions uh, from other uh, point of views um, other perspectives so that makes me think things not on the one side uh, not so narrow but I can uh, have an open mind um, to see this uh, kind of uh, uh, happenings, uh, kind of uh, things, yeah. Um, yeah, and also you can get more uh, entertainment <laughs> because <laughs> you understand uh, other languages and then you can enjoy um, like a more type of TV shows <laughs> and um, enjoy like the movies um, you can uh, yeah listen to more songs um, yeah a lot of entertaining stuff you can enjoy so I think that's the uh, really um, uh, good point to understand other languages and culture because you need to know the culture to understand um, like the uh, what, what would you say uh, and uh, hidden text I forgot the words yeah but you get you get the point so uh, and um, yeah another thing I think this is the last point is mm, yeah I I think I learned how to learn new things quickly um, when I learned other languages. So, um, uh, like, uh, so, so there's two kind of cycle. One is the positive cycle, and one is the negative cycle. Um, so the positive cycle is you want to do something, and you start to do it, try it. And uh, then usually you make mistakes, and then um, you learn from it, and correct your mistakes, and learn from it, and do it again. So just and then um, continue make new mistakes and learn from it and do it again. So that the positive cycle uh, makes you learn things quickly and uh, make it mm, yeah and you get better and better uh, to that but the negative cycle is you want to do something um, and you try that but you make mistakes um, and then um, you feel it's really hard and uh, maybe you and then you give it up and never do it again then you just start uh, you just stopped at the beginning and never uh, grow up never get better and the worst thing is you want to do something but you never start it <laughs> you never started to do it <laughs> i think that's the worst <laughs> so uh, yeah right yeah, or maybe you want to do something and you try it, but you find out it's not the thing you really want to do. Then 
it's also kind of successful, you know. So, um, so do things, uh, but if you want to really get, uh, get better on it, just keep doing. That's the, mm, the best way, I think. You make a lot of mistakes, you will get hurt something, sometimes, but if you keep doing that, you get better and better. So practice, make it perfect. So the key word is practicing. Uh, yeah. So uh, maybe not every time uh, you have to talk to new people and um, do some presentation from the crowds. But before that, you should uh, practice, uh, practice it by yourself. Um, and um, yeah, really practice a lot, make you better and better. Uh, and when you learn something, when you learn a new things, uh, especially language, I think um, use all the things, all the, the par body parts <laughs> you have. Like uh, when you learn uh, new words or new sentences, um, you listen to it, you read it, uh, you listen to it by your ears, you read it by your eyes, and you uh, read it loud, out loud, by your mouth, and you write it down by your hands. So use them all. And maybe you, you can even uh, act that thing. So think, maybe you, you, uh, you learn a, a a script on a, in a movie or something and uh, think think you're think you're the actor think you're the uh, heroine and uh, um, say the the script uh, out loud um, with your emotion something like that make it make the uh, the, the, the script as yourself so uh, as of the thing that you say it by yourself and even make your own sentences by the new words so use all the stuff uh, you can and uh, you can learn it really quick and practice 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 um, repeat the sentence like 10 10 times a hundred times <laughs> and even memorize that so you can make it uh, into yourself. All right, I think I made a, a really long video, so uh, hopefully um, there's something that uh, you think is helpful. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.